Hi, is your self-talk making your inner struggle worse? You mightn't have thought it much about your inner dialogue or self-talk. If that's the case, you might be surprised to know that the things that you're saying to yourself can make your inner struggles worse. They can have a really major impact on your sense of well-being. It's estimated that the average person says about 60,000 to 80,000 things to themselves each day. And for many people, these inner comments revolve about ruminating about the past, generally reflecting on things that haven't gone so well and feeling bad about that, or creating mental pictures of what might happen in the future. And that often gives rise to greater anxiety. Now, talking about inner dialogue or self-talk, while you're listening to me now, you might be saying to yourself something like, I wonder if this will be useful, or I should be working on that project rather than listening to this, or I wonder what we'll have for dinner tonight, and so on. It can be quite surprising once you start to observe it, what you're saying to yourself. If you start to analyse your self-talk, you might be amazed at how much of it is un unproductive, or worse still, is pulling you down in some way. Many people commonly scold themselves, they denigrate themselves, they criticise themselves over and over and over, all day long. Just imagine the harmful effect that is having on you. The effect is having on your unconscious mind, which I picture as being a seven to nine year old child living within you, a child who loves you very much and wants very much to be loved. And this child also wants to protect you and help steer you through life, keeping you safe and healthy. healthy. Imagine the effect it has on the child being told all day long things like, you're hopeless, you're an idiot, you are so stupid, you always do the wrong thing, and so on. Imagine saying that to a real child that you're spending time with. That would be very destructive and so disempowering on him or her and would certainly not encourage him or her to succeed. They'd probably want to run away and be free of all the criticism. On the other hand, imagine talking to a child as a kind parent with thoughtful, encouraging words, helping the child to do his or her best. What a difference there could be between the two contrasting scenarios. While the debilitating effect of negative self-talk can be worsened if the self-talk is of high intensity, sort of screaming at yourself internally, constant repetition of the same thing can be even more corrosive. It can be constructive to analyse the voice that you're hearing. Is it the voice of one of your parents or of some significant other person in your life? This might give you some insight into its origins and by understanding that it might help disempowering, disempower that voice. The secret is to become your own best friend, to be that understanding, compassionate friend to yourself who encourages and supports you to do your best. By doing this, you'll be strengthening your self-worth and your resilience. Apart from changing the things that you say to yourself, you can reduce the impact of negative self-talk by changing the sound of it. So you can make it sound comical, maybe like Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck. Or maybe you can make the negative comments if you insist on giving them in a sing-song voice. If you start doing this, you'll quickly get out of the habit. If you find that your self-talk is negative and destructive, there's probably little that you could do that would have a greater sen impact on your sense of well-being than by improving your inner dialogue. I'll talk more about the type of language used in our self-talk and the ways that particular phrases we use can hold us back in another video. Until then, I encourage you to practice observing your self-talk and seeing what you can learn about yourself by doing that. Thank you.